What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. Today we are hitting Kohl's as they're doing another clearance event where everything that is on clearance is an extra 50% off. Called this out last night to my group and also called out all of the online leads. I also dropped about $2,000 myself in Steph Curry shoes. But today it's time to hit in store, so let's see what we can find. So uh, that's a little overwhelming, but I guess uh, after basketball, I'm gonna sort through all this and then I'll show you guys everything that we got. All right, here's all the shoes, but before we get into that, let's head on to the electronics here, which already sold. I had a bulk buyer contact me that he wanted these for 85 a piece and these for 35 a piece. These were 50% off the tags. I make about uh, $25 on each of these and like 28 or $30 on each of these. And he bought all of these. And then I also listed these while I was out as well. These were $120 a piece. And look at that. Somebody bought both of those as well. Could I have gotten an extra $5 or $10 a unit on this? Yeah, but I'm sending it to the same exact buyer. So I might as well do that and save some money on those because I only have to ship it to one address. These haven't sold, but they will. They go for about $140 to $150. We can see they were 50% off of $187. Coming on over here in this bag, we got some uh, Nike NFL hoodies, which is pretty cool. Actually, this first one is just an Under Armour hoodie which I didn't even need to look up comps on because it was a $10 Under Armour hoodie. Like, come on, that's that's silly. The rest of these are just NFL ones. Um, so here we got a Dolphins hoodie, um, and then we've got a 49ers. These are actually all Nike. So we can see $24 on the 49ers. Obviously that one should sell right now. And then the old Patriots logo, which always does really well. These don't actually look like Nike hoodies, but they are. They're kind of plain, but still. Where'd the tag go on this one? There we go. That one was $22.50, so even cheaper. Nike hoodies like that with those logos, easy $50 to $60. Coming over here, we've got all these curries. The curries in the team color and the Warriors colors, those should go very well. Um, and we can see those ones were $26. Those go for between $60 and $80. And then same thing here, but these were even cheaper. These were $24. Not team color, so they might go for a little less, but I sold a bunch of these from the last clearance event. Probably not going to touch on every single shoe, but you guys get the point. Uh, we got some Nikes that are in here. Can't really beat Nikes that are under $25 a piece. We got some Giannis's for $25.50. You guys have seen me sell a bunch of those. Those are typically like $60 to $70. Another pair of Nikes that just came in one of these boxes, so we'll sell as new without box. Then we've got these pair of all white Nikes. See, like I'm not even looking these up at $21. If I find a pair of Nikes under like 25 bucks, I'm picking them up. These ones, however, I did look up just because I was curious since they were Gore-Tex. And at $26, look what those are going for. Over $100 for those. Easy money. If you watched my last clearance event, you saw me pick up these dailies probably. And those, I think I've sold out from the last clearance event. Under $20 for those. And those go for like $55. So really good volume play. Got some different colors of those as well. Um, even these park streets, which seem to go for about $55 to $60 as well. And then we found another pair of boots, half off of $71, so about $36. Bucks. And you can see those are going for around $140. Then people are probably sleeping on these. And I'm actually going to make an entire video on these. Because if you look at just the last 90 days, there's not many solds. But I know there are solds because I sold a bunch in the summer. So I actually checked out Terrapeak to remember what those were selling for in the summer. These were going for 40 bucks. Again, I'm going to make an entire video on this. 10.50 a piece to 40 bucks times what? Six or whatever there is there. This one might be slightly different. It's 14. It probably goes for a little more. Then we got a pair of Adidas that were under 20 bucks. So I didn't even look those up. Next, we got two pairs of these boots here. Um, those were 12.50. Wow. I thought those were 25. No. Wow. 12.50 on those. Yeah. I don't think I even looked those up either. Columbia boots. 
Those are probably like 50 to 60 bucks. Columbia sandals, didn't even look those up because they were $12. I'm sure they go for like 35 to 40. Oh, we got another pair that are like these. So those will go for like 55, 60 bucks. They were 21. Another pair of $21 Nikes, another $21 Nikes, $15 Under Armour. So I didn't look those up because that's silly. Uh, $22.50 Converse's. These are like some flower Converse's. I would pull them out, but I'm not trying to knock this whole stack over. So uh, those were going for like 60 bucks. Then we got these Dame Lillard's. $21 here for these. They go for like 60 bucks. And then all these are the same uh, Harden shoe. Um, those go for like 65 to $70. And those were half off of 57. So overall, a great haul today, just hitting nine stores. We're gonna make some pretty good profit. Again, if you're new to retail arbitrage, just source in the areas of the store that you're familiar with. I'm good with electronics, men's clothing, men's shoes, hats, things like that. So those are the areas of the store that I'm hitting and that's what I'm picking up. That doesn't mean that's the only areas of the store where there's money to be made. Obviously, I've never checked the toothbrushes before, but I walked by there and saw those too and already sold them. So just constantly be expanding your knowledge and checking new areas of the store, but always going back to your bread and butter, whatever interests you, because I promise you there's money to be made in all parts of these stores. And just because I only picked up shoes, that doesn't mean that's the only place where there's money to be made in Kohl's. There's literally money in all these different sections. I just get in, get out, hit my sections. Now I've added a couple new sections to it. Just constantly be doing that. If you don't want to miss out on the next cook or sale like this check out my discord group bread and butter first link in the description for daily in-store and online leads before i wrap up i actually wanted to give a shout out to my friend all ab sneakers he went on the hustle today as well hitting a bunch of these coals and he sold that guy i think like 31 of these thermostats so definitely check him out he puts a lot into his content and we've got some collabs coming up in the future as well that'll about wrap it up for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed there's money to be made everywhere guys let's go get it thank you for watching the millennial profit